Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So in this video I have decided to talk about NK800 once again. However this time it comes with this huge and enormous 8 inches dash. So here guys you can see this huge enormous 8 inches dash. Let's start the bike and see how it looks like. I really like these blinkers. They do look cool. Once you start the bike, you can see the map over here, you can see the speedometer. The big problem for me is that it has no English. Looks nice if you ask me. The most important part of NK800 is this 799cc engine which comes straight from KTM Duke 790. This is a parallel twin engine which has 100 horsepower and 86 Nm of torque. This engine is pretty decent. The only downside of it is from time to time when you ride slowly it starts clattering and rattling. But some people might even like it. And once you start twisting your wrist the bike goes really fast. Alright, so the bike is pretty dynamic, but I have some difficult time launching it. Alright, let's go one more time. 06 ready. That was good. Haha, <laughs> that was good. I do like the performance of this machine. And yes, from time to time, I do feel as if I'm riding a tractor, but guys, this is a fast tractor. It feels and sounds evil and once you start riding this machine it feels as if this is a teenager who hopped on steroids in order to make his friends respect him more. I do not know about you but for me this engine feels really good and it's a very suitable engine for a city. Every time I'm in the dense traffic I know exactly this engine is not going to let me down. And one more thing to say about NK800 is that this engine is not running hot. I was riding this machine really fast for a long time. I did not feel the heat. Many people compare this machine to KTM Duke 790 because they share the same engine. But I will tell you one thing. Ergonomic wise, let me swing my leg over the bike. In terms of ergonomics, NK800 is more approachable for most riders. The seat height is only 795 millimeters and it's adjustable. You can go as high as 820 millimeters. So if KTM 790 Duke is too high for you, this machine will be very suitable. And one more difference in between 790 Duke and NK800 is that on this machine, once you sit on it, it feels as if you're sitting in the bike and KTM is a very flat bike so it feels as if you're sitting on a very tall hard bench. I do like this position over KTM's position. I feel like it's just more comfortable in general. And one more thing to say about NK800 is that it has really nicely adjusted foot bags. As you can see I'm sitting up straight and I feel like most people will be really satisfied with the position of this bike. But there is one downside of the seat. To be completely honest with you, once I ride fast it feels as if the bike wants to get rid of me. Literally, I feel as if I'm flying off the seat and my passenger does feel the same way. So even though I do like the seat, it looks dope, it is very comfortable and the position is nice. But if you go really crazy, really fast, it does feel as if bike is going to drop you off. NK800 has adjustable upside down front fork which comes from KYB, it's pretty thick and does the job well and from behind it has full adjustable monoshock which comes from KYB as well and this KYB suspension does feel good. I've been riding this bike for a long time, I've been through a lot, I have been running through different bumps in the road and I cannot complain about the suspension, it does feel good and again if you do not like something about it, it is fully adjustable so go for it. One of the best parts of this machine is dual 320mm disc which comes from JG1. 
let's try to stop okay I do like the brakes of this machine really cool really cool I have been talking a lot about JH1 recently and I do feel like these are top-notch brakes if your bike is equipped with JH1 probably they will be as good as Brembo rear tire is equipped with 260 millimeter single disc and of course NK800 has dual channel ABS I cannot complain about these brakes I cannot complain about ABS everything works exactly the way it has to work so I feel like CF Moto has done a great job nk800 has six speed gearbox and it has slippery clutch i do like that gearbox i can find neutral every time i ride from time to time i try to go fast and i do not slip into neutral in between first and second gear most of the time this gearbox is pretty nice not as smooth as kawasaki would have of course but still one of the best gearboxes here in china one more thing to mention about nk800 is that it has quick shifter up and down however i need to be honest with you in the most important moments i would go with the lever because i don't trust the quick shifter enough from time to time it's not very predictable sometimes i'm just cruising around try to upshift and bike <coughs> jerks as if i have been hit by a truck from behind so this is not the most confidence inspiring feeling to be honest nk800 has really nice headlight which looks like a bull of course i need to mention that once you start the bike it has the special effect which everybody likes and taillights has the same thing i do feel like this machine looks really good taillights headlights design in general and even color all matched up really well this machine is very nimble and I do like the fuel tank. However, it's not the biggest fuel tank in the game. The capacity of this one is only 15 liters. However, I feel like it's still enough for a city. And of course, I need to mention that everybody is concerned about Chinese reliability. To be honest, I've been talking to many friends of mine who've been riding these bikes for ages. And all of those guys, they're saying that they have no problems. They've been riding for 5,000, 10,000 kilometers and they did not have any problems. Every time I'm in a shop where I used to change oil and so on, I do see some NK800s but only after accident. <laughs> This machine does have traction control, which is the biggest problem. It's really funny because NK450 and the new SRS450, all those bikes, they're equipped with traction control. And this machine, which has 100 horsepower, doesn't have that. If you ask me, I do think that this is the biggest problem of NK800, because most of other bikes from this class, they have traction control. So I do hope that the next restyling version of this bike would have traction control for sure. Other than that, I don't have any complaints about this machine. It does feel good. It does feel high quality. However, it's still a very cool tool to do some wheelies. If you're looking for a machine to do wheelies, look no further. There is only one thing in terms of reliability which you might not like. So over here, I have this nice 800 NK logo and it's barely holding to the bike. Other than that, this machine is well built well balanced it's a really nice bike for the money i still want to have one of those again this is not my bike but i have been riding it for a very long time and i cannot say enough good things about this to summarize in k800 i would say that this is not the fastest bike from the class but this is definitely a worthy competitor it's so fun it's so much fun brakes are just incredible it's super lightweight super maneuverable if you're living in a city this is one of the best bikes that you can buy and of course here in china it comes in cheap seven thousand dollars what else can you buy for seven thousand dollars actually here in china you can buy a lot but if you're looking for something naked for something which would give you this amount of joy look no further my dudes again you might argue about the dash some people like it some people say it's really ugly i feel like it's pretty applicable for a city again as i already mentioned I do like the way I can read the map, I do like the way I can read the speed on this machine, so dash is pretty nice. Alright guys, so this was my humble review of NK800, I like this bike a lot, and one day I hope we'll be able to buy it. Taking the price here in China, this is the best option you can get, and this is by far the most fun bike to ride. Alright guys, so if you like NK800, if you like my video, please leave me a comment in the comment section below hit the like button and i see you in the next videos bye bye everybody okay let's go one more time
that's freaking crazy.